Okay, we all heard this news today. This is MXUX. This is just a trick or treat uh, video here. Tesla's market value hits one trillion after Hertz agrees to buy 100,000 Model 3s. So, we have Hertz here. We have Tesla here. We have Hertz buying a trillion, uh, Hertz buying 100,000 Model 3s. They want to go all EV by, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, bu, 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 bu. well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, they want to go all EV by like 2030. So this is the first first shot over the bow of the other car rental companies. Fleet, I might add. Fleet, these are fleet sales. And does Hertz rent pickup trucks in its fleet? Yes, it does. Does everybody else rent pickup trucks in their fleets? U-Haul, Penske, yes, they do. Anyway, so this is a trillion dollar uh, uh, market cap based on 100,000 sales of Model 3s. Big order, big market cap. Let's go over here. F-150 lightning orders delayed until December. Blah, 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 blah. This is uh, a delay in the start of production, which we all expected from uh, Ford because uh, I no one thought that they were going to be able to produce the production numbers they thought they did. Here's the here's the rub. Uh, let's recall the company increased sales production target from 40,000 to 80,000 a year in 2024. But in 2023 it might be less, 55,000. While in 2022 it will probably be very limited like 15,000. Okay, we can only guess that Ford will not be able to produce more than 20,000 F-150 Lightning next year. So if they're going to produce 20,000, they have 100,000, 100,000, 150,000 orders for the highest models. Um, I don't know, where's the fleet production there? And the question is, how much production can Lordstown Motors ramp up? But uh, as you can see, we're looking at 20,000 produced vehicles. They're not going to be able to fill a 100,000 uh, unit order for Tesla or, I mean, uh, Hertz or anybody else. Uh, will Lordstown? Well, you know, they're going to ramp up. Let's see. Let's see what they can do. Uh, Mike Schmidt said, what do you say? Four cars in uh, four cars a minute this year. Six cars a minute next year. So, anyway, now let's get into the tangled web we weave here on this uh, uh, whole thing. Ford thought more of you would flock to its EV trucks and vans. Turns out you can lead businesses to electric 150, but you can't make them buy. And this is from. Uh, uh, Electric, um, um, Jalopnik, I'm sorry. Uh, first gear, fleet EV adoption not going the way Ford hoped. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, Ford's going all in on battery electric, uh, commercial vehicles between the F-150 Lightning and the E-Transit on their van. On paper, these vehicles make sense for business. They're cheaper to run, cheaper to fuel, and come heavily subsidized, which is all true. Companies should be flocking to them. Well, at least in a perfect world where charging infrastructure is equally distributed, limited range isn't an issue, and the batteries in these cars uh, won't necessitate costly repair or replacement in a decade. And this is a story from Reuters. Uh, Ford Motor Company uh, sees a robust market for electric trucks and vans by 2030, but it's facing some early pushback from commercial customers. Uh, a key audience. Now, these are fleet customers, okay? The key audience for the automaker's new F-150 Lightning and E-Transit. These are both vehicles that Lordstown is also producing. Uh, the Lightning pickup and E-Transit van are targeted at real people doing real work. I think they stole that from Lordstown, didn't they? 
the chief of uh, Ford Pro, okay? And this is the fleet model of the Lightning, the Ford Pro. But some of those potential fleet buyers are taking a wait-and-see attitude, okay? Now, here's what they give for the rationale. Partially from a lack of experience with electric vehicles and partially from a lack of clarity on government policy and regulations around EVs, which we can all understand. And, of course, depending on how that bill comes out, Ford could come out with a very distinct advantage. By the way, Lordstown could possibly also vote in a union, but that would likely take more time. Uh, but they give those two uh, reasons. Those are not insurmountable uh, obstacles over the long term. In the U.S., we see a 70% of the full-size bus and van industry going electric by 2030. That's 300 vehicles annually. And we expect a third of the full-size pickup market to go at all electric. That's more than 800,000 vehicles annually. Now, I might add, they're taking a wait-and-see attitude. One of the things they didn't mention was the, competi uh, the competing offer of a more suitable electric vehicle from Lordstown Motors. Uh, maybe they don't want to get the Ford F-150 Lightning. I'm just putting this out there. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, uh, the scale in the, in the bed. Because, you know, let's say you rent a truck from Hertz. You rent a pickup truck. You're moving. Do you think you're going to pay attention to that scale? You're going to load that truck up with as much crap as you can and you're going to take it to wherever you're going, and you're going to try to get the truck back as soon as possible. And I'm telling you, the reason that scale's there is to monitor the warranty. They're going to violate the warranty on the truck, and that's the end of it. Lordstown, straight rear axle, st solid rear axle, leaf springs, not the same problem. A much better fleet vehicle. I am taking the, the uh, position that that is what the wait-and-see attitude is. And uh, government policy and regulation. Here's the thing about government policy and regulations. Everybody follows California. California is mandating these private fleets go electric by X year. Uh, they have to go all, they're supposed to go all electric. And the rest of the world follows California's EV uh, regulations. So that's why everybody's, that's why Lordstown Motors is in Orange County. That's why Tesla sells more EVs in California than anywhere else. Anyway. Um, so we got 800,000 potential market for electric uh, fleet uh, pickup trucks, they're saying here. Um, it's very easy for Ford to say it designed the F-150 with the blue collar work in mind. I, I don't doubt that. Well, I don't know about that. EVs and offer a number of benefits uh, to businesses that doesn't change the reality that people's livelihoods depend on these vehicles and every commercial application is different. Sure, an e-transit uh, e sounds great for last mile deliveries in the Northeast, but how useful is the F-150 Lightning going to be to a contractor in the Midwest who has to drive 60 miles to the next charging station? And uh, I would add that, you know, we're going to get the full specs on the on the um, Lordstown Endurance. Uh, providing there is power at the worksite, I do believe they'll be able to charge reasonably uh, via 110 uh, during an eight-hour workday to increase the range of the F1 uh, of the Lordstown Endurance, which is something you cannot do with the Ford F-150 because it's an energy hog. So uh, I think this is another selling point for the uh, endurance. One day Ford will be right about all this, and it's too early to bet on 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 workhorse workhorse EVs. Will pay off, but it's foolish to think it's going to undo decades of uh, routines and expectations overnight. Business will adopt EVs when they feel confident in doing so. So, as I said, Workhorse, you know, of course, is, a, is another brand. I don't think that's what they're, the form they're using it in here. In any case, uh, you know, they're, they're making a lot of uh, calls here on why nobody's doing it. 
They aren't mentioning the comp competing uh, fleet truck, which is Lordstown. Of course, why would they? And uh, I actually think that uh, this, the F-150, really is a lifestyle vehicle. It is not a fleet pickup. And again, uh, we said in the, in the last uh, uh, slide here, what was their, um, they're going to make like 15,000 vehicles next year? Those are not going to fleets. Those are going to the $100,000 customers. So I don't think Lordstown is going to have any competition from Ford, in my opinion. It doesn't look like the fleets are even shining uh, a light on Ford as a potential right now. Looks like they've been shut down. No play for Mr. Gray. Now, here's a couple of interesting factors that turn this into a trick-or-treat. Shares of Hertz jump after appointment of ex-Ford CEO Mark Fields. Okay, an ex-Ford CEO is right now um, Hertz uh, uh, CEO. Does he like Ford? Is he is he going to be a is he going to genuflect to Ford and uh, take him on? Um, you know, irregardless of what the competition is. I don't know. Does he hate Ford because they fired him? Maybe. Does he want to get back at the Ford family? Maybe. We don't know. But I thought that was interesting. They're saying the fleet sales are flagging. They're not making the fleet sales connections they wanted to. And the ex-CEO of Ford is the Hertz um, CEO. Now, here's a very interesting factor, too. Lordstown Motors taps Hertz board member to write the ship. This is uh, August 27, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's still, he may have resigned from Hertz board. Uh, I'm not certain. You guys can check the status of that. Um, let's see here. Navaji, two months after a previous executive found resign. Navaji, auto background, blah, 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 blah. Recently wrapped up a seven-year of a member of Hertz Board of Directors. Okay, so he recently wrapped up a senior stat. We helped to see the cars. So anyway, the point is, Lordstown CEO is an ex-Hertz board member, okay, who probably has everybody on speed dial there, all right? Uh, the present CEO of Hertz is an ex-CEO of uh, Ford, and they could have very easily bought Mustangs. Of course, they wouldn't get a potential tax credit. But, you know, they're buying the Teslas. Damn the torpedoes on the, on the tax credits. But I think they're, they announced this today. And I do believe that this is not going to go into effect for a number of years. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, this is, this is an announcement. It's, it's going to ramp up gradually. But, again... They chose Tesla and uh, and not Ford. And again, Ivanji used to be on Ford's board. So anyway, I thought this was all very interesting. How this will work out with uh, Lordstown Motors remains to be seen. It's kind of a trick or treat. Is it going to be a trick? Are they going to get dogged or is it going to be a treat? Are they holding off on order and Ford's because they want to try out the Lordstown Endurance? Are they? to Navaji uh, whispering in their ears the Ford ex CEO um, want to get back at the Ford family we don't know is the endurance a better fleet truck absolutely so anyway guys I thought this was all very exciting how this all all linked together I hope you liked the video please like and subscribe and I'm trying a new system here I don't know how this is going to work let's see Hi guys, this is MXUX. I hope you liked the video. Trying out a new system. Cut it a little short. I want you to please uh, like, comment, and uh, subscribe. You know, uh, the riders, we got to stick together. There ain't too many of us. I'm, this isn't getting monetized or anything. So I need your support. Good luck in the market. I hope you like the vid.